Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Guess what? Beta FPV just launched a new version of the Beta FPV Cetus X and it's in one of these boxes and I can't tell you which one because they look identical. Look at, they're identical, but I'm gonna figure it out in a second. All right, I've looked at both boxes and the only way I can tell the difference is by looking at the tag on the back. Let me bring it closer and show you. While you might be able to see this or not because it's kind of blown out on this tag, but this version of the Cetus X, which I reviewed previously and I'm gonna put a link to it below because it's a really long review, very in depth. This one runs on Betaflight. If you don't know what Betaflight is, it's right here. It's a software. You can put it on your PC or Mac and basically all it is is a configuration software. The flight controller on any FPV drone needs to be configured to do what you need it to do and you configure it with Betaflight. So that's this version of the Cetus X. Now you're wondering, what's this new version you're speaking of? Let me show you. This is it right here. It looks like the same box, doesn't it? Well, it pretty much is. You gotta look at the little sticky tag on the back. But this version is not Betaflight. It's actually the Beta FPV operating system. And by using the Beta FPV operating system, they've made this like a DJI drone. What does that mean? That means if you're used to flying like a Mavic or anything by DJI Autel, even the DJI FPV series, they put in basic beginner functions into all those drones. This has that. So let me explain. So exhibit A, this one here uses beta flight configurator, which is what we use in the true FPV hobby. So you have three flight modes. You have angle mode, horizon mode, and then you have acro mode to do all your flips and rolls and everything. And everything on the drone in this box can be configured the same way we do it with all drones in the real FPV hobby. So in other words, Beginners can fly this, no problem, but they might get a little bit challenged with all the technical stuff. However, everything works right out of the box on this, and this is why I recommend this to anybody getting into the FPV hobby. For those who have terrible hand-eye coordination or have been flying DJI Mavics all their life, and the, now you have really bad hand-eye coordination, this drone flies similar but it also has the acro mode to do flips and rolls and everything else. I think there's even an optical flow in this one. So you see where I'm going with this? So in summary, this is a beginner FPV kit. However, it's designed for people that want the true FPV experience with no assistance. Whereas this brand new one is once again in the FPV hobby, can do all the same things, except it has the extra functions that a beginner would love if you're having difficulty with hand-eye coordination. Let me show you. Oh, and before I go any further, the contents of both kits are identical. I also have to mention that normally when I make a review of something, I usually do it a few weeks in advance of the product being launched, but this product is being launched today as you're watching this, and I only received this a few hours before the launch, so I'm making this video really fast so that I can make it in time for the launch. Here we go. So what that means is I'm gonna unbox it right here live, <laughs> well live as I'm doing it now, and I'm gonna fly it right out of the box. The batteries that usually come with these kits, they're, they're us they usually have some charging in them, so you get a little case to carry everything around. I'm just throwing everything on the ground. There's your case. I have another camera over here for close-ups. I don't know if that one's working. There we go. Beautiful case. Unzipper this wonderful case, and let me show you what's inside without dropping everything. There we go. Oh, can you see it? Uh, I got two cameras here, so there we go. Everything you need in the FPV hobby is included in this kit. It's really good. I highly recommend, if anybody wants to get into the FPV drone hobby, this is my top recommendation. Either kit. So let's go through each item really quick and then we're gonna make it all work. So the first thing you have is your drone right here. And this drone is made out of plastic. As you can see, it's all plasticky right here. But what's really good about this one is it has a video transmitter in the back that shoots out at 400 milliwatts. The other cool thing about it is that you see this camera? Well, I'll go for this one. You see this camera? It can go like this for flying indoors. The more you tilt this camera, the more the drone has to tilt to fly. You know what I mean, watch. So if the camera's pointing straight and the drone tilts down like this to go forward, I'm just gonna look at the floor. So in other words, it's really not gonna tilt that much because your brain is not gonna let it when you fly it. You're gonna leave it like this and you'll fly nice and slow. So that's beautiful. But when you tilt it like this up to 40 degrees, that means now if I wanna see where I'm going, 
the drone has to tilt like this. And when it tilts like that, look at the angle of the drone. I'm gonna get an awful lot of speed. And I believe this version comes with uh, like a beginner mode, normal mode, and a sport mode, and a manual mode. Also, looking at both <laughs> cameras here, also brushless motors. Brushless motors, which are really good. And it does take two 1S batteries. It comes with four batteries and a charger and everything else. But uh, you're, it's all set to go right out of the box. Oh, and this one here, yes, this one here has, you can see there's a little camera on the bottom. Bottom. Maybe this one will pick it up here, right up here where I'm pointing. That's a camera, that's optical flow right there. So when you're flying with this one indoors, as you're gonna see here, it has altitude hold. If you have a true FPV drone, like the other kit I was showing, that one there, there is no such thing as altitude hold. When you let go of the joysticks, the drone just falls to the ground. So with altitude hold, it means you can let go of the joysticks and the drone just sits in the air, just like a DJI drone and waits for your next command. Next thing we have is the remote. Take off the little gimbal guards. You will notice it's a true FPV remote because this joystick falls to the bottom. Now, a lot of beginners in the FPV hobby all make the following mistake. They take this joystick and they stick it in the center because they're used to, once again, I'll say DJI drones. I use DJI because that's the top company and everything below it just means it's a camera GPS drone. So if you put the joystick in the center, you'll never be able to fly your drone because in order to fly an FPV drone, you have to pull this all the way down then you start the motors. Never try to start the motors with it up here. It won't start. So really quick, you have buttons on the front and they're already pre-programmed to help you out. I have to stop looking at both cameras like this. It's as if I'm talking to two people. Let me just pick a camera. I'll start with this one. So you have these switches up top and they're all pre-programmed. I do know what the switches do because I flew the last Cetus X drone. So over on this side, that's your start and stop the motors. Just press it in, they start and they stop. Over here, that's your switch for like normal mode for sport mode and for acro mode too simple there on this side if you press this in you're going to change your video channel so if you're flying with somebody else and you're getting interference you can press that and you'll switch video channels to get a clearer channel if you want and over here that's your flip over switch so in other words if your drone is upside down turtle mode you press that and flip it flips over and then you can keep on flying. Also on the back, if I can remove it here, you'll see this remote comes with a spot. You can put an external module. So if you wanted to hook up ELRS to this, you could or something else or Crossfire. It should work. You should be able to hook it on the back. I've never tried it because there's no display on here to work with stuff. You have to use the beta FPV software. I've never used that configurator, so I can't tell you how it all works together. Also, this remote does work with flight sims. I'll show you right here. This is me flying on a flight sim using the Beta FPV C to X that came out earlier, and uh, it works really well. It's a really good uh, remote for flight sims. Last thing I should tell you about this remote is that this remote is not ELRS. The other kit that is the true FPV hobby with Beta Flight Configurator, that remote that comes with that is ELRS. This one is FR Sky, so it's a D8 remote. And you get the goggles and a head strap comes with them. I'll just pull that out because I'm not gonna use them. I can't wear these goggles because if you watched all of my reviews on FPV drones, I wear glasses. And if I take my glasses off, I'm blind. Everything's blurry inside. And if I try to put these over my glasses, well, this, look at this one here, watch what happens. You see, it, it doesn't work. I can't get them over. So I use different goggles when I fly. But these are really good because they have a DVR in them. What does that mean? They even have an antenna for range. So you put the antenna up and over here, there's a DVR. You can put a micro SD card in there. So what I'm gonna do is add one right now. So here I have some micro SD cards that I've bought off of Amazon. I've got four of them and I'm gonna use one of them inside our little baby. And I'll just stick the card in the goggles and uh, that's pretty much it. So now when you fly, what you see in your goggles when you're flying is coming from this camera. It goes in the goggles and it's recorded in here just in case you do something cool and you wanna show people later or you wanna rewatch it yourself. You can play it back in the goggles and rewatch it. Okay, last thing in here is a goodie bag over here. I'm not gonna take everything out because there's so much. So you get a total of four batteries. So two more batteries are in there. You get a battery charger, you get a battery tester, you get a USB cable, you get spare props, you get a prop removal tool, I think. Uh, you get a screwdriver, a pile of stuff. I'm not gonna take it all out, but uh, let's go fly. 
All right, let's do our first flight really quick and I'll show you how everything works. I told you it's gonna be a fast video. So take your remote and make sure your switch over here is all the way out. That's your arm switch to start and stop the motors. Make sure your left joystick is all the way down. Make sure you switch up here. It doesn't really matter where you have it at the moment, but if you put it all the way down, I already know that is gonna be beginner mode. So put it all the way down. The switch is on the other side. Don't play with them at the moment. Now press the power button until you hear some beautiful music and it changes a color. Let's see if I do it right. That is beautiful music. Did it change? Blue, so there we go. So now we have to connect this to our drone. Out of the box, it should be connected. So take your drone and uh, take the camera and make sure it goes all the way facing forward. And uh, look at the bottom, you'll see it comes with two batteries. The two batteries are already attached. So you have two 1S batteries, so it's an actual 2S whoop. It's a tiny whoop, a 2S tiny whoop. Plug in the batteries, and I do apologize if I'm going fast. I'm just trying to get this done quickly. So here we go, I'm plugging in the second battery. It comes to life, look at that. And then put it down on a nice flat surface. There we go, as you hold it still, you want that light at the bottom to stop blinking. And just to show you, I'll try to do it all in one camera here. If I press the bottom button here, I can arm the motors. There you go, see, props are going, you can hear it. It's buzzing away, and if I move the left joystick, I'm gonna get back farther. I can fly it right out of my head right now. It's in normal mode with altitude hold. So if I move the left joystick up past halfway, it should fly. So here we go. Don't make a liar out of me. Okay, I'm getting to halfway, and I'm at halfway now. There we go. And then I'll bring it up. And there we are. So can you see it in this camera? Here, I'll bring it down a little bit. All right, so there it is. Oops. Bring it down a little bit more. There we go. So it's right here. I'm not touching anything. That's altitude hold. You see what I mean? It's for beginners. So you don't need any hand-eye coordination. You can fly it around with the right joystick. Now, if I want to go forward, I'll go forward nice and slow. Coming this way, I can yaw it. Wow! There we go. And I'll bring it back in the camera view. And if you want to land it, I'm just going to pull the joystick all the way down. It's gonna come all the way down and land in my hand. And there we go. The motors are still going. You could probably hear them spinning. You can hear them spinning right there. And to turn the motors off, you have to hit the arm switch and they stop. There we go. So that almost concludes my review. It's that simple, right? So let me show you the goggles. So I've got this sitting over here. I'm gonna aim this guy at me. I'll put it down, put the camera up so it's looking at my head and I'll turn the goggles on. The go Where's the power button? Oh yeah, right here. So turn on the goggles. Okay, so here's, this is probably a terrible video. So what you're looking at right now is the goggles. So we're going into the goggles. You're gonna look at it here and you should see the drone looking at the remote down here and looking at me over here. And the colors look all messed up, but that's just because that's the way it looks. It does not look like that in the goggles on your head. So look at the bottom, I guess it's the bottom left. I'll put a yellow arrow pointing to what I'm talking about and I'm gonna switch the modes. So on the goggles, S, S mode. And then you have M manual. That's full acro to do flips and rolls, I believe. And on the other side is your battery voltage telling you when you're running out of power. And in the center is the arming. Can you see right here? That should say disarm. And if I hit the arm button, we'll go into arm mode. So I can arm it while it's sitting down. I'm in normal mode. So now you can hear it starting up. See, doesn't say anything right now. And I'm going to disarm it. There we go, and it goes back to disarm. Pretty cool. Last thing to show you on these goggles is the record function because a lot of people write to me and get confused and don't know how it works. It's really simple. So let me show you the record function really fast. So as long as you've placed the micro SD card in the goggles, then you look at the top and you have this big red button. This red button is everything you need to know. You press it once, it goes into record mode. It starts to record all the video that's coming back into the goggles. You'll see a flashing red uh, item up in the top left-hand corner, I believe. To stop the record, when you land, you press it again. To watch your video back, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at two cameras, sorry. To watch your video back, press and hold down the record button and it will go back into DVR mode, digital video recorder mode. And then you can use these other buttons up top. You can go between all the videos you made, forward, backwards, and the S button is your play button. Okay, I'm back here sitting on my couch in my living room. And what I'm gonna do is power on the goggles just to show you the record function. And I'm gonna power on the drone. The controller is already on. I'm gonna take it for a flight and I'm gonna show you the other modes really quick. So I'm gonna take this camera, point it forward because we're indoors. 
Uh, I'm gonna attach the battery and it should send out a signal to the goggles and to the radio and they should all connect. And I'm just gonna put it down on the ground here. If the light on your drone keeps on flashing and it's not connecting, just move the left joystick up and down or hit do some other things like this hit the little arm switch in and out eventually they should connect all right so i'm looking inside my goggles and once again we see everything so what i'm going to do is put the record on so everything you're about to see that's being recorded is coming from the goggles so i can hit the little red button up top Bonk. and i heard a double beep went beep beep that means it's recording and if you look up in the left hand corner i believe it is you'll see a red on and off flashing light which means it's in record mode and if you look down <laughs> down there you can see the propeller guards on the drone because i have the camera facing forward as soon as i lift that camera up to go really fast you won't see those little propeller guards in your image anymore so you can get some really cool video so i'm just going to take this and put it over here on my armchair it is sit over there it's recording away this drone is ready to go. I'm gonna plop it down on the ground and take off and just to show you it. So I've got it in normal mode. Let me just show you one other thing. Bringing it up. Coming up in the camera view. Hello, there we are. Okay, so let me just show you the speeds really quick. Normal mode, let's bring it this way. I don't wanna bang it into my wall. So I'll go back. You can see it's pretty slow. This is like a beginner to fly this. There we go, that's pretty much your forward speed. Coming by my head, coming over here, bring it over to that camera. Well, that was close. Okay, let's not bring it that close to the camera again. <laughs> Try not to scratch my lens. Okay, next thing I'm gonna show you is sport mode. Do not switch it into sport mode while it's flying because uh, it's gonna go pretty fast when you move the joystick a little bit. So I'm gonna land it over here. Come on back to me. Come on over here and down. There we go. And now I'm going to flick the switch. The propellers are still going. I haven't turned off the motors. Well, I guess I should turn off the motors and I'll flick this into the middle position on the goggles. If it's still recording. Yeah, I see it. It's in sport mode now. And then I'm going to put it on the ground and start it up in sport mode. There we go. The cool thing is that in sport mode, you still have a type of altitude hold. Can you even see my head with this drone in front? But more importantly, you have a super high speed drone. So I'm going to turn it this way. I'm not going to crash it into my walls, but if I want to go forward, even the slightest bit in sport mode, this is for outdoors. It's going to, yeah, I don't want to do it here. It's going to boogie really fast. This is for outdoors. Get back here, you. I didn't mean come and crash into me, but uh, sport modes for outdoors. Don't use sport mode indoors. So the last thing I want to show you is I'm going to put my fat shark goggles on. And I'll just show you what you can do with this thing. So I'm going to tune into the same channel. So this is altitude hold and everything. I'll bring it up to the camera. So with my fat sharks on, you can fly it really easy. So I'm going to go forward through the house here. It stays at the same height. So I just have to watch out. I don't hit anything going through the walls and everything. It's super simple to fly. Like your grandma could fly this with the altitude hold function. There's no difficulty whatsoever coming around here. I'll, I don't know if I can do circles around me, but you know, I'll try to go behind my head. I'll go over my head, coming back. Hopefully the camera picked that up, coming down, going around, going in front of me, right in front of my face. So with the FPV mode, with altitude hold, it's so simple. Let me try it in sport mode. I'm probably gonna destroy this, but we'll give it a shot here. Let's bring it down and we'll put it down over here. Holding the, I'll just hold the left joystick down. It lands nice. Take off the arm switch. There we are. I'm gonna put it in sport mode and let's try that. So it's in sport, going up. It'll be faster this time. So it'll be a lot harder to fly around the house. I'll keep it lower, but uh, there we go. I'm only just barely touching the joystick. There is an altitude hold ha happening. I can tell you that right now. Uh, it's taking very little effort to fly this around the house. Yeah, very little effort. I'm not going full blast. If I did, we could pick up some speed like this. I'm gonna go faster and faster. And there we go. Now we're really move booging through the house. And if you get really good at this, you could go even super duper fast. There we are. And so I'm gonna spin around 180 and I'm gonna come back to me and land. There we go. So really simple drone to fly in the FPV hobby for beginners. All right, super cold out, super snowing out, super winter out. Let's see if this can do flips and rolls. I've only got a little bit of battery power left. All right, this is on and it's full of snow, but I'll put that down there. 
the goggles. I'm gonna turn them on. I'm gonna plug this guy in. I'll just stick them right here. Oh, I just put snow and everything. I gotta stick them right, uh, get rid of all this snow. I'm gonna stick them right there. Oh, he's gonna slide right off the car. I'm gonna put them up over here. Can you see me up here? Let's get rid of some of the snow. All right, uh, my hands are frozen. S mode, M mode. Okay, that's good. Then I'm gonna hit the record on here. Where's the record button? I'll put the record. There we go. I heard two beeps. I'll just put these down. Let's go. Let's take it for a flight. I'll try not to lose it. Where's the arm switch? Can't even find the arm switch. There we go. I think I'm armed. Here we're going. We're gonna move, baby. All right. Come back to me at high speed. There I am. Don't want to lose this on my roof. And I want to see if it does flips and rolls. So here I go. Coming at me and... Whoa! Yep, it does it. It does it. So you can fly this acro mode. Look at this going down my road. Whoa! I am running out of steam and power. Yep, there we go, baby. Okay, so let's uh, bring it back. Yeah, low, low voltage is telling me on my screen because the batteries are at the end of life cycle. Whoa! And there we are in the snow, disarmed. All right, so hopefully all of that worked. I'm gonna end this video here because I have to go in and edit it and post it so you can be watching it as you're watching it now. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna know where to get this, the links are below, go check it out. I think it's awesome for beginners. So with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video pretty soon. Until then I say bye.